another beautiful day in Japan. I'm just kidding, it's not beautiful at all. It's actually quite rainy and miserable. Everybody has umbrellas out. So today I'll be going on my own solo adventure. We are hitting up the stores in Aoyama. So we're going to Kavem, Off-White, Babe Aoyama. We're gonna do some hypey shopping. And then when we're done there, we're gonna go over to Harajuku and do some thrifting. So hypey shopping and thrifting in one vlog. You guys asked for it and it's happening. So we're popping into this uh, designer mall real quick to see if the Comdrager Song play pop-up is still running and it's closed. So no more CDG for the rest of the trip. Luckily enough though, we did manage to buy a couple teas. So right now we're on our way to the Oriental Bazaar. I think it's this touristy area where you can get, you know, gifts for loved ones. I have no loved ones, so I'm not buying anybody anything. I'm just trying to save money on playing. We're gonna go there, check it out, see what they have. This is the store here. It's honestly pretty hard to miss. It sticks out like a sore thumb on the street. Got lots of cool chopsticks here, little gift sets and stuff like that. Lots of cute little teapot kind of things and nothing else you guys probably care about. So let's do some streetwear shopping. Okay, so we're outside of Cav Emp right now. You have to come to this little shopping area called From First. That's how you can find it. And uh, yeah, let's head up the stairs and check it out. Super minimalist store. We just have a couple racks of clothing with a couple pieces on it. The floor is crazy. You guys have seen this before. It's like a cracked mirror effect all over. Got some tees here. Hopefully they have something in my size. Usually sizing is pretty hard for my larger sizes. I got some sweaters too. These tees are pretty expensive because they're in all over print. These are about 16,000 yen. And these tees aren't as bad. They're 7,500 yen. So about 70 US dollars. I think I'm gonna go with either this black one here or this black one here. They even sell music on VHS tapes. Okay. I have them bandanas, some hats, some socks. Might want to grab a sock because they have the off-white Converse. These are about 20 US dollars a sock. Eh, we'll see. These are some more items. I got the long sleeve yellow shirt with this pink graphic. Going for about $100. Got this blue sweater with Cav Amped on the front. This design on the back. And of course it has that Cav Amped branding on the side. This is going for the same price as those uh, very flashy t-shirts, about $150. And they have this green one here too with this yellow print. Got this on the back. Yeah, not too crazy about these. I just realized that the character's wearing the Air Max TNs, I mean. <laughs> So we just wrapped up at Cav Amps. I picked up a t-shirt and I'll show it to you guys at the very end of the vlog. Next up, we're gonna check out Babe and Off-White. So we're getting to Bape and Off-White now. We got the Dolce & Gabbana store to the left of the Bape store. Let's uh, check out Bape Aoyama first. Here's a look at the Babe shirt set they got. Babe had tees, black one, this tee here too. They have some tiger hoodies still in stock. That's pretty dope. They got them in the green colorway too. So we just finished up at the Babe store and I wasn't able to film in the store, unfortunately. It's against the store policies, but I got a little bit as you guys saw. We did pick up quite a few items today. So you know what, instead of actually showing you guys all the items at the end of today's vlog, because there's quite a few pickups, instead we're gonna have a dedicated haul video. So we have Off-White and uh, I don't think we can film in there either, but we're give it a shot. And the Off-White store is right across from the Bape store. To give you guys perspective, the Bape store is here, and the Off-White store is here. And the name of the Off-White store is called Something and Associates. It sort of looks like it has a like stock exchange kind of vibe to it. Let's check it out. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film an Off-White, but their stuff is expensive. I knew their stuff was expensive, but actually like seeing the prices in person, like holding the price tag, that's when reality sets in. Like a hoodie was like $850. One pair of socks was about 100 US dollars. A belt is like $250. So a little bit out of my price range right now. Um, I was tempted to get the belt because that's something I could use every single day, but $250 for a belt, oh, that hurts. Anyway, that's that's it for our adventures here in Aoyama. It's about 4.30 p.m. now, I think, so we're gonna get going back to Harajuku, catch up with my girlfriend, and I think do some thrifting with her. Yeah. 
currently walking through some random alleyways in Harajuku. Natty decided that she's not that hungry, so I'm gonna grab some lunch without her. So I'm gonna go to this like western place. We went to a Mexican restaurant beside it earlier for some tacos, but this time we're going for some hamburgers. So I bring you guys there, and maybe if you like what you see, you'll come through here when you come to Japan. So this is the Mexican restaurant we went to earlier. It's called Las Dos Caras. And we are going to eat at American House instead. American House Bar and Grill. Salad, appetizers, Tex-Mex, pork chops, entree. Here we go, found the hamburgers right here. Yo, monster cheeseburger. Yeah, that thing's a freaking monster, oh my god. Bigger than my hand. Two patties with four slices of cheese. Three patties with six and five patties with ten. Yo, this place makes McDonald's look like chump change. Alright, the food has arrived. Fries look really, really good, and so does this burger. Oh my gosh, yes. Check it out, we got Japanese Heinz right here, and then we got some mustard as well. Alright, so we finished up at the American House Bar and Grill, and I gotta say, I really like the vibe that they have there. It really felt like I was in America, not Japan. Same thing goes for like the taco place. It really felt like I was on vacation in Mexico. So yeah, the burger was pretty good. A little bit expensive, but the fries were really good as well. Definitely recommend you guys check it out. Now we're gonna have some bubble tea from Coco. And this is a very popular like boba bubble tea spot in Japan. I got the mango yogurt with the tapioca pearls. I'm gonna give this a shot. Mmm, that's some good stuff. Alright, so we made it back to the crib and uh, now I'm picking up Natty to grab some dinner. We're going back to the place that just had lunch, but we're gonna go for the Mexican place which I've already ate at in the past. And then after we're done there, we're going to Book Off Plus, which is probably the best Book Off location I've ever been to. So they'll definitely have a bunch of dope clothing that we can thrift. Last time we were there, we picked up like three Supreme items for about $250, which is really good in Japan. So we're going to book off and I know you guys are gonna love it there. So let's go grab some Mexican food and then off to book off and then whatever other stores are still open in the area. It's also still raining, so that, that definitely you sucks. Ready? No. <laughs> So here we are, the Book Off flagship store in Shibuya. The store is absolutely massive. Let's go inside and uh, check it out. A ton of clothing to choose from. They have it all color coordinated for the t-shirts. Pretty useful. Lots and lots of bags to choose from. They have a crazy selection here. And the selection continues and continues and continues. The store is really well organized. So if you're looking for a specific piece, you wouldn't have too hard of a time. You can see they have signs for like their jerseys here. Denim jacket. Lots and lots of selection to choose from. I can't go through all of it just because there's just way too much to choose from at the store. But uh, yeah, book off Shibuya definitely come through and there's also a very big selection of women's clothing too So if you're a girl definitely a place you want to stop by because there's not too many thrift stores that have this big of a selection for women's clothing Heading over now to the streetwear section of the store. We got a lot of sneakers here. Supreme, New Balance, Fans. A lot of it organized by brand as well here. We got Champion clothing, Ralph Lauren, Lacoste. We also got some Coach, some Michael Kors, Gucci. Lots of more streetwear to choose from. We got Neighborhood and Double Taps, Starheart, Baca Maria, Number 9, Rude Brand, Softnet. Let's check out some of the sneakers that they got. I think these are the, what, the KD6s. We got some really weird looking like Nike Dunks. Got them in this like brown colorway here too. Some more of the Jordans that they got from a Fred 11s for 100 US dollars. Got some Oreo 4s, some low top 13s I think. Alternate Motorsport 4s for, oh that's really overpriced. That's 150 US dollars. Pretty beat up and I know these went on sale too. Lots and lots of secondhand sneakers to choose from. A lot of these don't look to be too hot fire. Um, but I'll keep an eye out for the best here. Got a decent selection of Supreme Tees. All these Supreme Tees are about 70 to 80. 
180 US dollars. Here's an example of one. Bought this like Supreme jersey for about 180 US dollars. Supreme jacket for about 180 US dollars. Pretty cool. We found some undercover jackets. Pretty expensive though. This one's about 920 US dollars. We even have this vape sweater and the vape sweater is pretty expensive. Going for about 350 dollars. Here's the Supreme cabinet. We'll get to it in a second but for now let's get to the rest of the streetwear on this rack. Got this Supreme sweater. Some bathing apes. Some Stussy. Let's check out the bathing ape stuff. Weird weird vape tea. Going for about 120 dollars. Not too crazy about this one. And the rest of the vape isn't really any good. I know you guys are after the more the hyped items. These are just like random bape flannels and, and random bape polos. So random kind of items they'll have like this here. We even got some bape denim for some pretty good prices here. $55 for some bape jeans. They have a few of these here. A very large selection of Stussy. They just have a ton of Stussy. This entire rack, like this entire section is all Stussy clothing. This is really surprising to see. A watermelon colorway of the uh, Air Max 1s. These just dropped actually. So they're still in pretty great shape and they want about 110 US dollars for these. Got some Adidas Jeremy Scots. Whoa, this is a very wild shoe. A teddy bear on a shoe? What the heck? This is going for about 110 US dollars. Here's a look at the rest of the Air Maxes that they have. Some Reebok pumps. This is pretty cool. Sometimes people will sell their brand new clothing to the store. So we have this exact hoodie, this Adidas hoodie, and they have three of them available. And the retail price is about $110. They're all priced here for about $30 and they're brand new. If if you don't believe me, here are the brand new tags still attached to the piece. And then here's the new price that they have set. You can usually find some pretty dope Adidas track suits here in Bombers that you would not find anywhere else. I've been to some other thrift stores in Japan and I've picked up some pretty awesome unique Bombers here. And I've picked up some pretty crazy vintage pieces. Nike Air More Up Tempos are crazy, crazy popular in Japan. They sell out instantly whenever they go to the stores. Here we have a used Air More Up Tempo, a general release colorway. And it's a used shoe. Keep in mind, it's a used shoe for a GR and these are still going for about 230 US dollars. That's freaking bananas, man. Here's a look at the Supreme hats they have at this thrift store. And then they even got some Yeezys right here in a size, I think size nine US. About 780 US dollars, I wanna say. Got some Hendrisky Medidas, some Supreme bags and accessories. And they even have some stickers too, and some denim. That's pretty cool. Book Off also has some designer brands from Saint Laurent, DR Home, Balmain, Givenchy, and Rick Owens. Not too much that really appeals to me here. Maybe a different look. Location though. Ah, we even found some Comme de Garçon play. This U shirt for about 55 US. We got an XL in this shirt for, wow, about 110 US dollars. I could have picked up a few of these actually. I regret not buying them. Got a gray CDG play polo for about 85 US dollars. Black one for about 55 US dollars. Size small. And another one. Lots of Comme de Garçon to choose from. They even have the main line if you're not a fan of the CDG play hypebeast clothing. Wow, we even got that super famous Saint Laurent jacket with that shoulder detail on the side. Got some Adidas Gosha Rubininski, Rubujinski, I don't know. We got Gosha Adidas. We got some wraps, some Stan Smith wraps. So we just finished off at Book Off, and I'm gonna show you guys one more store before we head home to Harajuku. This store is called Jeans Mate, and it's located across from Atmo Shibuya. So Atmo Shibuya is right there, Jeans Mate right here. And this store has a lot of champion and a lot of other just streetwear, so it might be worth checking out. So I'm bag hunting again right now. Torn between getting this triple black Nike bag right here, or if I want to get this champion one instead. The champion one's about $35, this Nike one's about $20. i am not too big of a fan of the size of this champion bag, but I do like the way it looks. This Nike bag just seems really practical though, with having the zippers right there, no extra flap. I can store my wallet, vlog camera, and some other stuff inside. This is a bit big for like the club and other events and stuff like that so I'm gonna just have to go with this Nike one. The store also has a really good selection of champion shirts. I got this cool like blue shirt. I don't even know what material this is but it's pretty dope. We got the champion branding on the side here and a good selection of champion shorts too. Vape, better watch out. Champion's coming for you. So this is the morning after we did that thrift shopping last night, and now I'm gonna get to show you guys the pickup from yesterday. So first off, we went to Cavempt. We picked up one item, and this is the bag that they give you. They also included a cool little sticker. It's a pretty cool sticker. It's in this like black and neon green kind of color scheme. And then this is the shirt we picked up, the Predictions Products shirt. It has this black and red graphic on the front of it. We have Cavempt on the bottom. It looks like there's this tunnel that this person is driving down with a motorcycle. 
vehicle and we have the cav amped houses here with the wi-fi signal and then on the back side of the shirt we got the cav amped branding on the shoulders and i got a size large because cav amped is japanese sizing so i'm usually a medium and american and like north american brand but size large for this brand and of course it's made in japan i got the shirt tax free so it costs 7,500 yen flat so that's about 68 us dollars also if you like the sticker make sure you stick around to the very end of the video i will be giving it away to one of you guys so listen up for that small giveaway next up we have the bay pickups i got this basic college logo tee from the bape store in aoyama i'll take it out of this packaging real quick so for this bape tee we have a bathing ape right here in that college print we have this yellow gray and white ape logo and i also got a size large because it is japanese sizing pretty simple shirt we also got the bathing ape tag here on the sleeve this shirt was 6,500 yen so about 60 us dollars and last but not least the final pickup from aoyama we have this bape shark hoodie right here i got the very last one in my size size large so very pumped about this so let me pull it out so here is the bape shark hoodie it's like four fifths red one fifth camouflage we got red on the majority of the upper we got the uh, little white graphic print here on the sleeve with this bullseye taking a look at the shark face here's a look at his face we got the camo on the one side with wgm for world gone mad we have the other side here which has this tiger and the letter a what really pops on this bape sweater is the left sleeve with this camouflage print in green we also got that bape tag right there on the uh the wrist and that's pretty much the bape shark hoodie and if i can recall correctly the retail price for this one with tax free is 270 us dollars so very happy with this pickup so there you guys go that's gonna wrap up today's vlog hope you guys did enjoy it make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below let's try and hit 2000 thumbs up and if you want to enter the giveaway for this free cav amped sticker all you gotta do is comment down below your favorite item that you saw in today's vlog and thumbs up the video and of course subscribe to the channel that's all you gotta do and i'll catch you guys in tomorrow's japan vlog peace out